my god what's cracking tnc squad it's your girl cc and we back hold on we got to be back and we back with another banger period so today 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 first let me get y'all hip to everything so this appointment is going to be all about weight loss period so today is december 17th and today is the day i finally go to my first weight loss appointment now they called me this morning and asked me could i come a little early just because they said it's gonna be a lot of papers to fill out so my appointment set four is three um i mean it's 2 43 so about like 3 20 i'm thinking about leaving so i can get there at like you know it's 20 minutes away if i leave at 3 20 i should be there by like 3 40 and then that's 20 minutes early like tw that gives me 20 minutes to sign papers and my mom's coming with me so she can help me sign papers you know usually tay takes me to my appointments but to like something like this i think my mom should take me because she pretty much needs to help me with filling out all the paperwork and currently when i'm trying to talk to you guys i hear myself like double-sided in this ear because yesterday like halfway popped and it like feels like it needs to pop again and i can hear myself so yeah i need to go to the doctors and figure out what's going on my ear but i want to go to my weight loss appointment first because they told me that i'm gonna have to go back i'm gonna have to go back there like only way i can talk is if i hold my ear like but they basically said i'm gonna have to go back there so they can fill out papers. So I'm going to just wait to go to the doctor's then. But yeah, let me just get y'all hips. I have on this little Cuban link. You know? Cuban link. Um, I painted my nails pink. But today I'm about to is going to be giving me some money. And I'm going to be going to go get the stuff to do my own nails. But I haven't had my nails done. Because I like cleaning a lot. Cook a lot. Things in that nurture where my nails just be in my way. So I'm really getting to the point where press-ons is a thing. Or do it myself so if it pop off you know can fix it or things like that so i'm gonna go buy a drill today i'm gonna be buying a little bitty like acrylic set and i'm gonna order the rest of the set but i'm gonna buy a little bitty acrylic set that comes like the nails all the stuff i need to do me a quick set for saturday because you know saturday is christmas i'm not sure what colors because i'm not into like red my toes are currently red and i'm not messing with it so my nails was red but i painted them pink today just this morning because i was not messing with it but i do like this color pink as y'all can see this hand is really nice neat and cute but when it comes to this hand it's not nice neat and cute and it's like you see yeah but i'm gonna see y'all when i get to the doctors you know right now i'm just about to pretty much chill probably like eat something to get something in my system but then again i wasn't sure if i was supposed to eat something because they are going to be taking blood work um, they're going to be giving me a pregnancy test. They're going to be, ch like, I think checking me on my full body to make sure I'm okay to, you know, proceed with the process. So, I don't really know what's going to go on, but we're going to get there. Period. I'm going to see how when I get there. Period. Period. So, I just wanted to pop in with you guys real quick and, like, tell you guys what I'm going to eat. So, I got some crackers and I got some chunky chili. When I eat chunky chili, I do not eat noodles. I use crackers as the noodles. So, yeah, I'm going to eat and then basically, like, hurry up because, like, I think it's, like, almost 3 o'clock. It's almost 3 o'clock in, like, 5 minutes. Later. So you guys, I just got out my appointment. I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like. It's cold. Oh, it's freezing. Y'all see that? 
so I'm at my appointment and I got like a whole binder or whatever. But when I get to the house, I'm gonna tell y'all the difference in the surgeries because where I came, they only do two types of surgeries. So I had to pick like one or the other, which I have not made a full decision, but like I gave them like a roundabout of what I would wanna pick. Um, now they did say I'm on the right track, eating healthy foods, and exercising that's the part that's the right track that you have to be on just to start surgery now after surgery you cannot get pregnant for a year and a half like and you're really prone to getting pregnant after the surgery but they do not want you on birth control so it's like you have to have protected sex basically but i'm about to call tag and tell him everything see what he think i should do and i'm gonna hurry run to this car because it's cold and it's raining my mom is not pulling off so you guys i'm back home and i'm here to tell you everything okay so i know this video is not gonna be long but the front of it the beginning of it will be a weight loss video so and i'm not gonna make this like a vlog miss or nothing i'm just gonna strictly post this video so i went to my appointment at four today but i got there at like 3 40 because i wanted to get there 20 minutes early oh my god let me just get y'all hip hold on i can't even breathe i just had to carry all these clothes in here so I'm close. I said to carry mom. So this is my book. I went through Good Sam um, Tri Health Hospital. This is the patient education. Okay. So, but with the two surgeries, they have a gastro sleeve or a gastro bypass. So with the gastro sleeve, um, your stomach is your fist. They take your stomach, I can't, I don't have like a picture to show you guys, but the picture she showed me was perfect. So it's like a, pig, a round picture of your stomach. Just look it up, a picture of your actual stomach. They take your stomach from looking like that, they cut it in half, and they make your stomach into a banana. So your stomach is long, it's like this long and skinny, like real skinny like a banana. So they take your stomach from as big as your fist and turn it into a banana. And that's what the sleeve just with the like gastro sleeve put on yeah that's what the gastro sleeve if you get the gastro sleeve they they make your stomach as skinny as a banana um obviously not the outside it's obviously the inside you know the outside you have to work and then they cut the skin off and things of that nature so with that um with that surgery you basically like the only complication that you'll have which all surgeries have complications all surgeries have risk of you know certain things but with the with the gastro sleeve it's basically like them like i said they make your stomach into a banana so with that um i do have acid reflux already but my acid reflux is like mild and i am on medicine for it to get it better now it could either <clears throat> the surgery could either go one or two ways the answer reflux could get less and to go away, or it can get worse and be like really bad. Now, I'm already on medicine for it, and I have been supposed to take medicine for it damn near my whole life. So even if it gets like way worse, I'm already taking medicine for it. So it'll be like nothing new. Like it'll be like, what the hell? You feel me? Now, with the gastro bypass, listen to my words listen to my words you can get cysts because with the gastro bypass they they take a piece of your stomach and they remove it they remove it period so they take this chunk instead of turning it into a banana they remove the whole thing they remove your little piece to your stomach and they have like this little bitty little bitty like little bitty piece and it's your stomach so this little bitty piece is your stomach right and your tube that you poop out of they connect it they move it all around and they connect it up here to your stomach so when you poop it doesn't go down and go inside your stomach it goes down and it goes straight out your butt okay that's just like the quickest way and like easiest way i can tell you guys so like okay that option does sound very good um just because you know like you might be able to have better results or your stomach your food's not going to your stomach and they're literally removing half part of your stomach but you can get like cysts and things and if you're a smoker you literally can never smoke again 
if you get the gastro bypass, you'll never be able to drink or smoke again, okay? So, with the gastro bypass, if you smoke, you could literally die. You could get bleeding internally and pass away. It's not like... <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody who's getting the gastro bypass, but like if you smoke, that's what I got out of it. Is if I smoke, like, cause I already know I have to stop. Charity told me I have to stop smoking before the surgery date, like a month before the surgery date. I gotta stop smoking, and then after the surgery, I cannot smoke for a month. But with the gastro bypass, you cannot smoke at all, like at all. Period. She was like, so if you think she was like, you're really young. So if you think, oh, I'm going to quit for the surgery, but after the surgery and after like all the dates is up and I'm looking good and I got to where I want to be and you decide you want to smoke, you could literally have internally problems. So with that being said, I know myself and I know I'm going to stop smoking for the surgery, but after the surgery, I'm going to go right back to getting fried. Um, just for my safety, I'm not going to get the gas, gas girl bypass but i will tell you guys what surgery i am going to get i am gonna get the sleeve put on my stomach it's where they turn your stomach into a fist into a banana so i will be getting my stomach turned into a banana <laughs> this is crazy but i will begin my stomach turned into a banana do i have a date no now before i can even get a date i have to go to a heart doctor and get my heart checked i have to go get my lungs checked and i also have to go get my throat check um just because when you go in the surgery they do put a tube down your throat they need to be up make sure that you can still properly breathe um they do want to have me go to a heart doctor just because that like they said they don't want to have me get on the table and then i have a heart attack and that's something that i should have got checked before my lungs they want to make sure they work perfectly fine and i am all set up with everything to go into surgery instead of us going there legally blind and i need i need something on the table like when it's time for surgery so i will have to go to a um what is it called i will have to go to a weight loss like it's called weight loss surgery duh i will have to go to a place that's gonna t a dietitian they're gonna tell me how to eat what to eat and how many portions to eat i will go to a workout place so they can make sure i'm working out like basically so i can show them how i work out so i can tell them like so they can tell me if i'm working out correctly to be on the right path to do surgery um what else do y'all need to know okay so like, that's really it to, for me to tell y'all because like i don't remember everything i'll insert the little video i took of the video they had me watch now when it comes to this basically this just like a welcoming book if you want to be honest um well actually I lied in the back there is in the back there's a list of workouts you should be you could be you should be doing um you know you should be doing bicep curls you should do over the head tricep extension exercise option one you should do tricep extensions you know that's like down it's like down so they, they give me a book of pretty much exercises that i really should be doing on a daily that I don't do. So, I just want to give you guys like a little roundabout. This is basically just all workouts, 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 um, workouts, workouts. So, they did say that I do need to go to the gym five days a week for at least 30 minutes a day. Um, so, yeah, which I do go to the gym all the freaking time. They also gave me this girl number who is going to be calling me on Monday. That way I can set up, set, set up my appointments for everything. Um, what's this? Like, honey, when y'all see <laughs> What's this? I don't know what that is. I don't even know. I don't even know half this shit, y'all. Like, if you want to be like hundred percent, okay, y'all. And let me also tell y'all. So, so I'm going to try health. I don't want to tell y'all like the doctor shit until after I had surgery because I don't know who out here weird. What's this? Hmm. Kroger, Walmart. Um, 
um i guess this is gonna be I th i'm guessing this is gonna be like a a sum of the diet so like basically she told me she can't tell me a diet today because i have to go to the diet doctor but i basically i just want to tell you guys i love i don't i'm guessing she's a doctor who's gonna be doing my surgery and i absolutely love her like i've only been to her one time and i just feel like she was very nice about everything you know some doctors they'd be like um you're obese and they just say it in the most rudest way no y'all she was so nice she was saying everything in the most nicest way possible now she was telling me like um when i get the sleeve put on if i just if i change my mind one day like okay i'm gonna fully stop smoking because i want different results she's like if you don't get the results you want and you decide you want to switch the surgery she's like if you have a gastro sleeve you can turn it into a gastro bypass all they have to do is go back in and take the part of the stomach out she was like and move things around she's like but if you get the gastro bypass there's no way we can turn it into a gastro sleeve so you can smoke so basically the big option is um do i want to have basically is what makes you choose do you want to have heartburn like basically and take medicine for having um acid reflux or do you want to not be able to smoke again in your life <laughs> that's literally basically what you're picking so i'm gonna pick i'd rather just get i'd rather just have to take these i mean i already take them do y'all see them i mean i already take them every single day for my stomach so like it's like it's no different and like i told the lady like i'm not even gonna care about having um I'm not gonna care about having it like having heartburn because why I, because i'm gonna be skinny and mom was like when we was leaving mom was like oh god you already think you a bad and mom was like you already know you a bad b with your weight she's like when you get your she's like we finna need a bigger house because when you get your surgery i just everybody already might well prepare yourself prepare yourself in the comments prepare yourself for the videos because once i get surgery i'm a brand new bitch period Okay, with that being said, I hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you can notify every time I post another banger back to back. I really was excited about showing you guys this video um, about my weight loss journey. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.